Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make cute Christmas cookie cutter shapes in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, to make our Christmas cookie cutters, we're going to need some Christmas shapes. So let's come out here to Google Chrome, and I'm going to go to Vecteasy.com. This website has a lot of free vectors to use, but they do have their limitations and they have a licensing agreement that you can read and learn all about how you can and cannot use these graphics, but they are definitely okay for practice. So let's type in Christmas silhouette and I'm going to come over here on the left side and just choose free license. And now we'll come down here and look through these a little bit. And I'm really liking these Christmas designs here. So let's click on that and I'm going to go to free download. I'll choose free license and you'll have to wait a moment for the download to start. And then it'll come right down here to the bottom left on Google Chrome. Anyway, you can just click this little carrot and choose show in finder, and then it'll be a zip file on a Mac. You can double click it. And on a PC, you can right click and choose extract all. Okay. Now this is an EPS, so I'm just going to drag it onto my illustrator icon and that'll bring it up in illustrator. Now this has a lot going on and I actually only need the tan shapes. So I'm going to get on my a tool. I'm going to click one of the tan shapes right in the middle. Make sure you only have the tan shape selected and then go to select same fill color. And some of these are the same fill color and some are not. So that's fine. We'll just hide these with command three or control three on a PC. Now I'm going to select the next tan shape and do the same thing. Select same fill color. And I'll hide these with command three. And then the last one, I'll hide that with command three or control three on a PC. I'm going to zoom out with command minus. And then I'm just going to draw a box around everything with my white arrow. That's your direct selection tool and hit delete. Now we are going to unhide all. So we'll come up to object show all. Now we only have those pieces and I actually don't want to use all of these. I don't want this shape and I don't want this shape. So I'm going to select both of those and just delete them by hitting delete twice on my keyboard. All right, let's zoom into this hat down here. I can see it's got this little thing. I think I just must have accidentally clicked on that. So I'm going to select it and delete it. I'll command minus to zoom back out. That's control minus on a PC. First, I want to get everything kind of straight up and down so that it looks right when we create the cookie cutter. So I'm just going to hit V on my keyboard to get to my selection tool. And when I select one, it selects them all because they're grouped. So we'll hit shift command G that's shift control G on a PC and that ungroups things. So now they're all singles. I'm going to take this candy cane, move it down here and then hit R on my keyboard and just rotate it around till it's pretty much up and down. And same with this one. I'm going to get back on my V tool, hit R and rotate this a little bit. Okay. These are all looking good. Now I'm just going to spread them around. So they're kind of evenly spaced out. Okay. Next I'm going to select all of these and then just hit D on my keyboard. D will give me a white fill and a black outline. I don't need the white fill. So I'm going to use my question mark or slash key and get rid of that. And now I have a black fill only. Let's come up here to the stroke. Now, if you don't see this bar up here, you can just go to window control right here and we'll increase our stroke quite a bit, maybe about like this. And now I want each of these to be a different color. I'm going to select my stroke and then I'll get my color palette open. If you don't see some of these windows over here, you can just come up to window and choose it. So here's the color one. And I'm just going to select a green color for this. I'll choose red I'll, for the house. I want a uh, blue and so on. We'll just make them all different colors, maybe an orange for this one. And I think I'll double click that and choose a different kind of orange. 
Okay, the next step is to expand our strokes. But first, I don't want any points like this. So I'm going to hit Command F10 or Control F10 to bring up your stroke window. You can also go under window and find it there. And for the cap and corner, I want to choose the middles, which are the rounded versions. And you can see now that this part has rounded off uh, along with all the other sharp points. All right, so let's expand our strokes. We'll come up here to Object, Expand. And we're going to expand both the fill and the stroke and say OK. Now before doing this, you'll see that you have a stroke and it has question marks because it's got many different colors of strokes. And after doing it, everything has changed to a fill. So these are filled shapes now instead of outlines. OK, let's select everything and then just come up here to Effect, 3D, and Extrude and Bevel. And we'll get this dialog box. And now we're going to change some of the angles. You can pretty much do whatever you like here. I'm going to do maybe 23 here. Let's go positive 26, negative 10 here, and zero here. And we'll preview this. And for the bevel down here, let's choose classic. And this kind of gives it a little shine, a little pop on the edges. And it really makes it look like plastic cookie cutters. All right, as a final step, let's take everything and expand it. Right now you can see that your selections don't match up with what's happening with the cookie cutters themselves. So to get them to actually conform to the shapes, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now everything is vectorized. And that's it. Now we can move them around so that they look a little more uniform. Now we've got cute cookie cutters made from Christmassy shapes. Okay, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you!